Guys, are you guys interested in trying some duck tonight? Fucking right. Yeah, yeah you want to try some duck? We're sure. from up yeah. north. We hunt and shit. So where it's up not, north? Like Ravenhurst? A pass there. Really? Where? Eh? where? Near Sudbury, Sturgeon Falls. So quick change of plans, uh, buddy Andrew was supposed to find, message me back finally. So we're on our way to pick him up right now in Vaughn, and then we're gonna take him up to Sturgeon Falls. So we don't know how we're gonna do it, but everything fits in the fit, it's what it is. You have to just go do things, is what I'm saying. So just go do things and figure it out. So I'm stoked. I messaged like his family, his cousins, and I found out we had mutual friends through his cousin. <laughs> so here he is, look at this. <laughs> I went to the art gallery last night, ended up drinking with some friends, got here at like 2.30, see your message. Right now we're in the fit, heading to a little town called Sturgeon Falls. Not much of a great town, guys. But there's lots of outdoor stuff to do, so we're going fishing on the ice. All right, so we made it to North Bay, and we're about to get some groceries for some uh, dinner snacks. How long is your shift today? 5.15 till 10.15, so five hours. Okay, you, are you warm? Yeah. Are you wearing goose? No. Okay, so on our way into Independent, gonna get some chili fries. Shout out to North Bay. Okay, we're in, well, this is where it ends. Is this enough curds for uh, all of us? Probably not. Let's get the marble in. So we got our we'll, cheese. We'll find, some, we'll find some better cheese. Than Oh, is this not good cheese? All right, Andrew knows where the good cheese is in North Bay. Look, a dollar fifty. Whoa, that's, that is so. That other cheese was literally ten dollars. Okay, that's sweet. All right, now we just need uh, some frites. Dude, I'm so happy. We just saved so much money on cheese. This is like <laughs> northern maple syrup here. Uh, this is my buddy's company right here. This one a few years ago won world's best maple syrup that year. Well, easy, easy. Here, real cold. Oh, we're not going in hot today, that's for sure. This is the attire for the day. I have like seven layers on, and we got jeans to accommodate the bagginess of all the pants underneath. We're building internal body temperature. It is a lot colder outside than uh, it, it, we're used to down in southern Ontario. My apple cider vinegar froze in the bottle. <coughs> is the so cooked with chili pepper? <laughs> it's actually. <coughs> Stop. I'm gonna switch my hat. I'm freezing. I wish I had my glasses so I could like see further, but like I get the gist. Trees and snow. Oh. <laughs> 
All right, so here we are in North Bay, and uh, we got the North Bay Nugget, and we just found out on the front page that there's uh, over 16,000 tickets issued for parking in the handicapped parking, and I also found out that there's 10 million overdue tickets, uh, 10 million dollars worth of overdue tickets, That's and bad. we're about to find out what's up with that. What's up with that, guys? All right, and also here up in Sturgeon Falls, that's where we are, you will get a $205 fine if you litter, and they make that very well known. And you can also uh, park here for two hours Monday to Saturday. All right, so uh, here we are at the Sturgeon Falls Tim Hortons, and uh, as we can see, there's a pickup truck here in the handicapped parking. And first thing that I'm going to check is to make sure that it's a valid uh, handicapped parking vehicle. It looks like it's indeed a handicapped parking vehicle, so he's good. Let's go check this person's car over here. This person is legal. That's good. So we don't need to interview these people because they know it's good. There's a guy looking. Look at over here. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so we're here in this uh, school here with Andrew. Andrew brought us here, and uh, this is uh, Andrew. Tell us what's good. Uh, this is where I went to high school. All right, so uh, your name's Scott? Yep. Okay, sick. Do you like it here? Nope. Do you like the weather? No. Yeah, what do you put on your pizza? I put some uh, mayo on there. Hey, Daniel, come over here right now. Do He's gonna answer good? the rest, because uh, okay, I'm done. All right, so what's your name? Daniel. And how long have you been in Sturgeon Falls? Um, six, 17 years. Wow, so that is some time. Do you like the weather? No. What do you do for fun here? Nothing. I think we've attracted a crowd. Have we? I can't see anything. Oh, we do have a trail of students. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Good, you? Oh, doing very good. All right, so we're coming into the cafeteria. Andrew, stay with me. Yeah. A lot of chairs here. Andrew, why are there so many chairs in here, Andrew? So there's a pool table at school. Do you play uh, pool often in the school? Uh, during my spare. Yeah? Yeah. Never during class? Oh, sometimes I, I'll skip and come play pool. Uh, are you solids or stripes? Uh, I'm solids. But what's your preference in general? Solids. Yeah? That's solid. How do you find the weather here in Sturgeon? Oh, uh, it's not too bad. I'm kind of used to it by this point, so... Like, right now, it's pretty warm out compared to usual. Okay, I, I don't think it's that warm out right now. This is my good friend, uh, Maxime. Maxime Benoit. I'm uh, I'm French. I'm from here. What is your favorite piece of the drum? Favorite piece of the drum is the snare. Yeah, that's a good question. What do you want to be when you grow up? Me, I would like to like be uh, I don't know like a big heavy uh, mechanic thing there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Same with you. I would like to be a heavy machine operator too. Yo, Andrew, is this like you guys that gave him duck liver? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, these are the guys. <laughs> there we go. So here we are at Extreme Pizza. Andrew recommended this place because it's pretty extreme, I believe. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, it's in. Oh. oh, did he lock it on us? It's okay. Do you park in handicap spots? No, I don't. Good. Right behind me here, we have the snow bear. Take a look at its beauty. Let's do a little walk around here. Andrew, have you been in the snow bear before? Yeah. Look at this little exhaust right yeah. here too. You have uh, like two built-in holes to go fishing in. You have uh, like an emergency exit on top. It's real warm, has nice radio, and you know, it has like independent track stuff to steer, which is pretty weird. Yeah, we got the tank stuff going yeah. on down here. Okay, so we're about to uh, fire up the snowmobile here, and uh, apparently it's been through quite the mission. He was on a bridge and it kind of collapsed. Wallet. He lost his you wallet. Is it, dude? This is definitely fucking juice. Ah! <laughs> I threw a party here about uh, about a month ago, and our buddy uh, forgot his wallet, and he kept on telling me it was in the garage, but I looked for it, it wasn't there, and I just found it. We got another snowmobile started. The other one wouldn't go, so we uh, we have access to this beautiful snowmobile. The smell of gasoline. That is glorious. All right, one of the snowmobiles that has the reverse feature. And uh, we are officially hooked up, and uh, let's uh, hop into the bin. The bin of pleasure. That's gross. It's like a hayride. It is like a hayride. It's like a snow hayride. A snow hayride. Oh, oh this flip. Awesome. Yeah, the suspension is really soft. That's why they call it BAMS tours. Because you go BAM! Huh? Partridge. In a partridge. In a partridge Ooh. in a pear tree. Right in the tree right there. Oh, look at that gate. Where is the partridge? If I get it, you guys owe me 10 bucks. It's fucking right. Okay, Andrew's going to try to catch a partridge right now. Say bye, just give her. Yo, dude, she's probably gone, man. <laughs> give us a rundown on what a partridge is. A partridge 
As I like to call them, uh, bush chickens. I think they're in the pheasant family, actually. Yeah, it's these big, dumb bush chickens. And, uh, they're delicious. They're a bit fattier than a normal chicken. More gamey, like, uh, it's clearing up. This is my favorite part right here. I call this the Diefenbaker. Why is that? I don't know. I like how it sounds, but it's fucking cold. We're about to drive over some ice, and we want to know how do you... Told us we're in for some hell. How do we know when it's safe to be on the ice? Do you throw a rock on the, the ice or do you just give her? Um, well, I'll let you know right now. It's gonna get a little intense here. In general, they just know. Oh my word, we are on the lake. Okay, hi mom, I'm, I'm on the lake behind a snowmobile and I am safe. And I'm with my buddy Steve and Dave and Andrew that I met in Chinatown. And here we are up north. Oh, the freaking... Oh, the minnows! I totally forgot that we had minnows on board. They're very tough. Dave, you look really cold. We're most definitely out here. Uh, there's a lot of windy, flowy snow. And I can't even... Um... <laughs> Let's get the camera off for a bit. Okay? Alright, so uh, we made it to our shack. Uh, we didn't fall into the water. There was some pressure cracks on the way. But we're gonna warm up soon in the shed because we're going ice fishing. I don't know if we said we're going ice fishing yet. This is uh, a lot colder, not in the snow bear. So we're gonna get the, the firewood and we're gonna get the heck, uh, get the heck in the shack. <laughs> Angie, are you, are you cold? Like, yeah, but it, cold in a really weird way. Like when you go to Mexico and it's really, really hot, but you're just kind of like, ah. Yeah, it's really not that bad when, uh, it's really not that bad, to be honest. I think we went over the Hudson's Bay just now and we're in uh, the Nineveh Islands. All right. Oh my gosh. Well, we're here. We are, we are inside the shack. We are in a little tiny house and we're gonna catch uh, some big fish in a little house. All right, so this is a tip up line. So what happens is when like, instead of using a fishing rod, this line here is dropped into the water and whenever there's a fish that bites on it, you'll see your, the tip up go like this. And then you know you have a fish on. So then you just grab it, you snag it, set the line, you just reel it up. There we go. Cool. Putting a half ice. So you just hook the minnow through the back, just above the head right about here. So then he's still alive. You just pop him in the hole, hope for a fish. I just got informed the snow bear was here. Oh, here she is. So let's just admire the snow bear in action. So I don't know what, what it's doing here, but uh, thank you for showing up, snow bear. What a beautiful bear. The only bear I want to see out here is the snow bear. Oh yeah, that's, that's cozy. That shack is so warm in there, and now I'm out here and I'm cooling down a bit, just a little bit. How is it in the snow bear today? awesome yeah yeah lots of fun almost fun in the snow bear that's awesome it has heat yeah, <laughs> yeah. beautiful bear goggles on face mask up fold up the gloves and we're we're gonna be ready to report the news in the tundra here is this canadian tundra no man uh, not at all we're just on a lake in tundra there's different flora and fauna which is beautiful words to say animals and trees and you wouldn't get that conifers sweet well that's it so the snow bear just left. It's hiding currently. Oh, is the snow bear hiding? Is that the snow bear? It's the snow bear! The snow bear's, oh my gosh, it's coming right for us. Okay. Look at that bear. Just before we're about to go inside, the snow bear makes an appearance. Waiting for fish requires a lot of patience if you're gonna catch a fish and uh, there's a lot of downtime in between from actually like casting your bait and waiting for the fish. So uh, we're looking for things to do and uh, we got something to do here with uh, Steve who has volunteered uh, some, what is this Andrew? It's, it's called smelt. It's like uh, lake sardines. And you know, only a few people know where to get them and, and only a few people know how to cook them. And we're none of those people. I think what Steve's about to do is I, I've, I've really, Got him. I don't know. I'm trying to pump him up to get full mouth penetration of that smell. It's raw. You know what? I'm from uh, from Hamilton. Hammer. We got tie cats. You know the saying for the tie cats is eat them raw, bud. So you know you just take a good. Oh yeah. Darly, little bite. That good old smell. How does it taste? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Are we gonna get a full swallow? Oh. Eat them raw. Tongue out, tongue out. Yeah! So what do you think about Steve eating a smelt? Oh, uh, that's fucked up. 
<laughs> that's it. That's it, man. That's I would not do that. It's kind of like our minnow friends. Just a minnow. Yeah, I'm probably gonna put that back in the bag, though. Oh, you're not gonna eat the rest of it, Steve? <laughs> we don't have any like water or anything out here. So Steve only has his vape to uh, wash his mouth out. It works, bud. You know, get the blueberry mint uh, smelt combo going on. Good old fish breath, you know. Yeah, just look at the snow bear if you need some assurance. Alright, so we didn't catch any fish today, but we gotta head back to Hamilton because we got a bit of a schedule to abide by. But one thing we do gotta do is we gotta go see JP to give him his wallet back. And Andrew said that the guy works at No Frills and he might be working there tonight, so we're gonna go see what's up with that and uh, give him his wallet back. And uh, Andrew, do you have any closing words? It's cold! So we made our way back to Extreme Pizza because uh, we heard it was pretty extreme and it's after 3 p.m. which means that they're open right now so we're gonna check out their slices and see how extreme they really are. Okay, so we got our Extreme Pizza. Let's take a look at how extreme it is. Woo! Look at that. Does it make any noises? It's living up to its name. The dough, perfect. Sauce, perfect. Pepperoni, perfect. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm so full right now. I'm extremely full, some would say. All right, so here we are at No Frills. We got JP's wallet, and we're gonna find JP and give him his wallet back. Is this JP right here? This is a lot easier than I thought it would be. So here's JP, here's your wallet. How do you feel? Pretty good, man. Yeah, we heard you lost that at a party last uh, couple weeks ago. Yeah, I did. Are you on break right now? Yeah. Perfect timing. You get to pay for your, your drink. So uh, now we're going back to Hamilton. Uh, actually, no, we're gonna go drop, uh, we're gonna go drop Andrew off right now. All right, guys, that was Sturgeon Falls. It's been a cold one. It's been a good one. Shout out to Bam Stewards. Shout out to Extreme Pizza. And shout out to Taryn who brought us out on the lake today. If you guys like what you see, subscribe for more. You can get lots of good content on The Evan Show on YouTube. Pursue what you love and stay minty. <laughs> <laughs>